I'm James Boyd. Welcome to Security Matters. If you're watching this video, odds are that you're one of the more than 500 million people with a Facebook account. Now that's a lot of people. But what's interesting is that many of those users don't know what kind of information they're giving out or how they can control who sees it. You may be sharing your information with total strangers right now. But before we get into changing your settings, it's important to understand what they actually mean. Today we're going to look at what settings are available to you. If you want to follow along, log into your Facebook account. Once logged in, click on Account in the upper right-hand side of your screen. Select Privacy Settings from the drop-down menu. At the top of your screen, you should see an option called Connecting on Facebook. Your screen should now show several options that determine how other people can find, connect, and communicate with you on Facebook. Everyone has different levels of comfort about what they share and who they share it with. What we'll show you today are the various options you have for sharing. It will then be up to you to determine what level of sharing you choose to use. For every setting, though, the choices you have to share are as follows. Everyone. This setting allows everyone to see your content, no matter who or where they are. If your setting is set to everyone, you're broadcasting everything you do or say to the entire Facebook world. Friends only. Only those people you've confirmed as friends can see your information. Friends of friends. Now, here's where things get a bit tricky. This setting allows friends of your friends to see your information. Let's say I'm friends with Susie. Susie is friends with Joe, but I've never met Joe. Under the friends of friends setting, Joe will be able to see my information because we have a mutual friend in common, even though Joe and I have never met. Customize. Some sharing options let you customize who can see your information. This option is great because it allows you to limit access to your information on a person-by-person -person basis. Those are the four basic privacy settings available on Facebook. Now that we know what they mean, we can begin using them to our advantage. In the next episode of Security Matters, we will walk through the process of actually implementing these settings. For that video and others, visit our website at securitymatters.iu.edu.